Okay guys, before we start, I just wanted to run through the ingredients that you're going to want to make this recipe. Um, if you don't have something or can't get anything, we may be able to do substitutions depending on what it is. Um, so just let me know and I will um, have that conversation with you if we need it. Okay. So the first thing, oh, and by the way, this is to make a double batch. So that is for two pasque, two pascas, okay? Um, if you are not going to be using a mixer with a dough hook attachment, if you're going to be doing this all by hand, or if you're at home solo, you might want to do a single recipe, in which case you would just take all these measurements and cut them in half. Okay, so here's where we're going to start four packages of active dry yeast okay it doesn't have to be in the package if you have the jar that's fine too we'll talk about like how um, what measurements of the dry yeast from the jar will get you the same equivalent as in the envelope um, next eight cups of flour uh, with maybe just a squidge extra um, when you're kneading the dough next two cups of milk one and a half cups of sugar, and now the eggs. Okay, so I'll be honest with you here. This is supposed to be a very rich dough with a lot of egg yolk, um, and the original recipe does call for four egg yolks plus two whole eggs, um, but for the last eight or so years that I've been baking it for my family, I feel like throwing those egg whites away is a waste, and I just use um, four whole eggs, and I save those other two eggs for breakfast for myself the next day, and nobody's ever complained, and it always turns out good. So you can do it either way, um, but that's the way I do it. One teaspoon of salt. Um, you need some butter. Um, for the double recipe, you need four tablespoons. That's half a stick. Um, you're going to need a couple tablespoons of oil. Um, you don't have to have avocado oil, and actually I prefer something like a canola or just a vegetable oil. I just don't happen to have that at home right now. You need one lemon. Um, we're just going to use the zest from that. And then um, for just some smell and flavor, that's what these last three things are, the lemon. Then you could use either um, a little bit of whiskey or a little bit of vanilla to... Um, add some nice um, aroma to your pasca. Um, frankly, I prefer the whiskey. I think it gives it an amazing smell. It doesn't really taste like whiskey or anything. You don't have to worry about that, um, but it's really nice. But if you don't have it, or if you're the type who doesn't uh, consume alcohol, uh, go ahead and use some um, any kind of vanilla extract you have, or you can skip this entirely um, and it'll still be fine. 